Hello and welcome to the Overflow podcast. My name is Craig Booker. The title of this episode is Why You Do What You Do. A lot of the material for this week's episode was inspired by Craig Rochelle's book, The Power to Change, Mastering the Habits That Matter Most. Note, I will talk a lot about mental health, but please note this is not a substitute for therapy or mental health care. I am not a counselor or physician. If you need help with mental health challenges, please find a qualified mental health professional. The title of this episode is Why You Do What You Do. In this section, and Craig Rochelle starts out talking about change and making positive changes in our lives. And he says, real change isn't behavior modification. Real change is spiritual transformation. When people think of changing, they typically think of behaviors they want to start or stop. For example, for start, meaning I want to start this habit or behavior. Maybe I want to start reading the Bible. I want to start tithing. I want to start being more grateful, saving more money, being present for my kids. Some stop behaviors, meaning I want to stop this behavior. Maybe it's negative thinking, being late, uh, drinking too much, procrastination, overreacting. Uh, So an exercise for this section is write down things that you want to start and stop. Uh, And then if God told you that he would miraculously change one thing in you, what would you want it to be? A principle for this section is to experience change that lasts. Focus on who, not do. Isaiah 43, 19 in the NLT says, For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. So this idea, this concept of a spiritual who. Uh, You do what you do because of what you think of you. Proverbs 23, 7 in the NKJV says, For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Uh, Craig Rochelle in his book says, What does so he is mean? What does so he is mean? Uh, Who we are, our character, shapes our thoughts about ourselves and others. What we think is a reflection of who we are. That then shapes our lives. We have no choice but to live out who we think we are. What we think within ourselves, we are. We make decisions based on our self-identification. He goes on to say that research shows that when making a choice, we essentially and subconsciously ask ourselves three questions. Uh, The first one is, what type of person am I? Uh, Two is, what kind of situation is this? Three is, what does someone like me do in a situation like this? So instead of focusing on what you want to do, decide who you want to become. James Clear, author of Atomic Habits, says every action you take is a vote for the type of person you wish to become. No single instance will transform your beliefs, but as the votes build up, so does the evidence of your new identity. Craig Groeschel says, Your self-identity is a primary reason that you make decisions. So another exercise is he gives two statements and there's blanks to fill in those statements. And he says, when I blank, my underlying belief is that blank. So here you could go through uh, some of your behaviors and, and do some reflection on when you do certain things, what is your under underlying belief. We have a principle here. It says you do what you do because of what you think about you. Mark 10, 27 of the NLT says Jesus looked at them intently and said, humanly speaking, it is impossible. 
but not with God. Everything is possible with God. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes.